Hey there, my name is Christy. I'm the CEO and founder of DeSilva Life and a verified ClickUp consultant. DeSilva Life is a systems and consulting agency where we help our clients and our students get set up for success by optimizing and setting up their systems properly. So if you are new around here, you may have missed my video going through the other tool that we specialize in, HoneyBook, where I walked through my entire service provider booking and onboarding flow. In that video, I asked you guys if you wanted to know once a client books, what that process then looks like in ClickUp, and the general consensus was yes. So here I am making that video for you, where today we're gonna walk through what our service provider workflow looks like in ClickUp and how our team collaborates on these projects effectively. Let's dive in. As promised, let's go through our service provider workflow in ClickUp. So I'm just gonna show you through the HoneyBook setup example. ClickUp is actually so custom to the client that we do have a template for like how things are organized and mapped out, but we then go in and we build out the project pipeline and everything like that. For HoneyBook, although it is very custom to the client, the process and what we're building for them is the same. Okay, so first of all, you can see in here, we have a client space and then in the client space, we have a HoneyBook setup folder and it says 2024 HoneyBook setups. So here you can see we have our templates in here, but they're stored in the ClickUp template center. So when we go to onboard a new HoneyBook client, we click plus from template. We then have a HoneyBook set up for Tuesday or Thursday start. So those are days we onboard them. So we'd click, say it's a Tuesday start client, and then you click use template. We'll put their business name, Silva Life, and then remap the date. So then the start date would be the day before the kickoff. So say we were onboarding on the 20th, we would do it as the 19th because then that first task is like the um, kick up prep for kickoff call. That's the first task in the list with a due date. So we would click that, click use template. And then what this is going to do is it's going to onboard, upload the template for the entire project. It's going to have who's assigned to what automatically map those due dates automatically and have everything that we need here. So let's walk through this actual template together. So first of all, we use list colors to note kind of the status of that project. So onboarding, building, pause, support phase, or complete. You'll see that here as well as here in the list colors. So you can always do just by clicking on this and then adding and editing the colors and you can have them just as colors or name them as well. So then in the description, we have these um, badges where we then have the company design brief, the client drive folder, other login info and important notes. So we can keep this um, expand it or collapse it. So this is just like the important information about that client. And then on the internal view, we have three main phases for HoneyBook builds. We have the project prep and kickoff, the asset creation and review, and then the project wrap up and training. These are privated because ClickUp is dealing with a bug right now that when I add a list template, like it will just make them privated tasks. Let me see if I can refresh this and you can see it. Okay, so you can see it for a second, it's probably gonna go back to private in a second, but you'll see it was like prep for kickoff call, post workflow mapping session wrap up, adjust settings, etc. cetera. Um, so in here, now we're gonna have the entire project pipeline. With a click of a button, it's added to our team members calendars. We have the time estimates of how long these tasks usually take. Um, and then the onboarding checklist. Let me actually open up one of these so you can see it. You can see once our PM goes and uploads this, she automatically then goes through the whole entire process of onboarding. So requesting account access, editing the client portal doc, um, sharing the entire Google folder, etc. Our EA then goes in and orders the client gift. Now, disclaimer, we do have to make a couple updates to this as 
well um, because we did just onboard a new EA. Um, so, and then also I just had a call with my PM this week to talk about some sticking points of this template and how instead of using subtasks for certain things. We want to use checklist items for certain things because we feel like things are getting lost in subtasks. So we are constantly evolving this process. Um, there are certain things that like we have a process for, it's really smooth and it's nailed. And then other things that are work in progress until we feel like, okay, this is really seamless and smooth. So like even I just had this call with her about how sometimes things will get stuck in client review and we want to know when we have followed up with that client, when she has followed up with them and how many times. And then if it's like past two or three times, then we move the status to client delay. So we're going to add another drop down that's like client status. And then that will have like follow up one, two, et cetera, because we don't want it to be in like the general statuses. So totally make this your own. This is to give you inspiration and show you how we actually map out our process. Now, another note about this, this is literally the process and the map and structure in our project workflow mapping template. Let me show you what that looks like. Okay, so now you can see in here, this is our exact workflow mapping template where we have um, project phase, we have the different tasks, so we have like phase one, two, three, etc. These are, I was doing a tutorial, it doesn't actually look like that at the top, um, but you can see our workflow mapping template in our shop and see how this really mimics the structure. It's just now customized to our HoneyBook setup process. So we have project prep and kickoff. The different statuses are ready to start waiting on copy because sometimes there are elements that we're waiting on copy for. And we want to know that like our designers can't start this yet. In progress, internal review, client review, needs edits, and completed. We have assignee and then we have collaborators um, to know, you know, okay, well, our designer Nina might be working on this, but then our PM and our other designer is collaborating with her. Um, so you'll see the project prep and kickoff, the asset creation and review. So this is all of the assets that we have to create and the start and due date of when we want that first draft by. Then the wrap up and training. So. This is project prep and kickoff. Then here are all the things that have to happen in the middle of the project. And then here is the wrap up and training. So we have to upload the canned emails, create the automations, edit the pipeline. We have final quality control and like training prep, the final training call, what has to happen after we have to, let me show you, like move the meeting recording to the client folder, post the final training email in HoneyBook, move the project stage and the list status. Um, then we have a four week support period and then offboard the client as well. So you can see click of a button, everything is uploaded. Here's our whole entire process once we onboard a new HoneyBook setup client. Then we also have the client view where we just have the start and due date and status so they could see insight into what is going on in the project without knowing who is doing what. They don't see like client delay follow-ups. They would just see like the status. And if they see client delay, they know that's on them. Um, the other thing about this is we don't actually invite them to our ClickUp. We go into sharing and permissions and share this link via, we share this view via a public link. So this is what we put in their client portal so they can then see insight into the project. Um, now this is also not showing the privated tasks, so they wouldn't see privated tasks. Um, but for some reason, this is still not working. Then we have everything in a calendar view, so we could also see it in that way, what's being worked on. We use Gantt view to see dependencies. So if one thing is uh, delaying, right, say the uh, kickoff call, then it would move everything else forward. Um, then we link and use an embed view 
to link the client portal documents. We have easy access within ClickUp. Then we have internal notes. And then lastly, a honey, a chat. Now this is internal again, but this is a way that we could be like letting the team know, followed up with the client X times, and now we are in client delay. And then you can go ahead and just update the team on that. You can add watchers. So anytime you add an update in here, then everyone that's watching this chat gets notified. So that is it. That is our service provider workflow walkthrough, like our actual one. Again, it's very, very similar to our workflow mapping template. It's just customized to our process for Honeybook Setup clients. So if that video was helpful for you, please make sure to give this a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you want all of the ClickUp and systems tutorials in your life. Now that was just an example of one of the many processes that we do in ClickUp. But if you want even more tangible examples, we actually have a free on-demand webinar called Scale with ClickUp. I'll drop the link in the description below if you wanna check it out and get instant access. With that, thank you much for being here, for supporting our channel. Again, please make sure to give us a thumbs up to take it to the next level of support. And with that, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.